hi guys happy thursday welcome back to my channel if you are new go ahead and pause this video before you even get into it pause it hit that subscription button and hit that notification bell so you can get an update on when i drop another vloggy but no um i am coming to y'all today because my camera is broken right now we're waiting on the lens i just felt like i need to get, just go ahead and upload this vlog it wasn't nothing else that i needed to um re-record luckily i actually recorded while i was doing it but this wig is two years old y'all the first thing i had to do was go ahead and pull up my girl because it, as y'all can see when i first got this wig the hairline trash i had to do what i had to do but you know what with our new wigs from aliexpress don't worry your girl don't learn quarantine done taught your girl but i also inserted in the clips um on how i revived this wig so stay tuned y'all little thing let's get Alright y'all, let's go ahead and get into the color. So today I'm going to use a rich amber, a cinnamon, um, I also did a French cognac, and I did a honey brown. So all of those colors are actually in my wig, and you can actually see them when I'm done and when it's in sunlight. I'm going to insert a little clip of what it looks like in the sunlight. It gives us a little cute little fall ginger color, and yeah. Um, I did part my hair in sections just because the wig, it was just doing too much. And it being on a mannequin head versus being on my head is totally different. But it's up to you guys. Do what you got to do. Um, I did go ahead and use a 30 developer as well. Um, oh, yeah. And make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel, guys. <laughs> All right. So, as you guys can see, I got the bleach pretty much all over her head. I'm gonna go ahead and process it for about 15, 30 minutes maybe, just depending on how light I wanna get it because I don't want it to be too bright. And then with me doing the watercolor method, uh, I don't know, I'm a little skeptical, but I'm trying. So bear with me. Also y'all, I got this wig from AliExpress. I'm gonna put it in the description box. I mean, yeah, put it in the description box on where I got it from. But as you guys can see, I got my border hot water. Um, we're going to go ahead and use my rich amber and I mix my cinnamon. I don't know why I thought y'all could see that. I'm still trying to get into this whole focus, focus crap. But hey, y'all know what I mean. So don't, don't, don't penalize me, okay? So go ahead and put your colors inside. You want to get a large little bucket don't talk about my bucket y'all this all i had and me swishing around now that i'm looking at it i honestly do not know where that spoon went maybe i should go back and look because when we get to the middle of the video y'all can see that i'm actually going to mix this the next color with a damn what they call it a little stirrer thingy <laughs> a little egg beater <laughs> The next color I put in there was the French cognac mixed with the honey blonde. Now, what the honey brown. What I do think with the honey brown, the honey brown of ultimately overpower all of it because it's a darker color, um, which isn't a bad thing because towards the middle of this video, I thought about it. I was like, ooh, I don't want to dye this hair too light because this actually was the only wig that I could find and revive. So, I apologize. <laughs> And as y'all can see, I really just didn't think it was going to get lighter. It looked black as ever, but we did what we had to do. All right, y'all. So I just finished. As you can see, it's like hints of little reds. The red is up. It's, you can honestly see it better in the light. But when I take pictures, I'm actually going to um, curl it. So, so yeah, when I curl it, um, it's gonna be you'll be able to see it. But I'm trying to, there we go. I didn't want to go too bright because in the sunlight, it's gonna have that ginger feel to it and I actually want to um I think I want to take make this like a, a more burgundy color so that's why I want to make it too light but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and curl my girl be cute and we gonna see but I was a little nervous that I was a little nervous that it wasn't gonna work <laughs> But other than that, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, like I said, this video 
this wasn't going to be a long video because how I was doing was just doing hair. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys when I upload another vlog. Bye.